Internal energy, heat, and work. The firing of a potato cannon provides a good example of the heat and work associated with a chemical reaction. In a potato cannon, a potato is stuffed into a long cylinder that is capped on one end and open on the other. Some kind of fuel is introduced under the potato at the capped end, usually through a small hole, and ignited. The potato then shoots out of the cannon, sometimes flying hundreds of feet, and heat is given off to the surroundings. If the burning of the fuel performs 855 joules of work on the potato and produces 1422 joules of heat, what is the delta E, the energy change, for the burning of the fuel? The burning of the fuel is exothermic since it produces 1422 joules of heat. So the heat Q is negative 1422 joules. Work is being performed by the system, the burning fuel, on the potato as it expands the volume. And so work is also negative and the work is a negative 855 joules. We're asked to use this information to find the energy change of the burning fuel. So in our conceptual plan we're going to take the heat and work information that we have and use the one relationship which is the first law of thermodynamics that says the energy change is equal to the heat plus the work involved in the process. So substituting into this equation, delta E is equal to Q plus W. Q is a negative 1422 joules and the work that we add to this is a negative 855 joules and so this gives us a net energy change of negative 2277 joules.